Hello and welcome to Hey, I Loved That Movie, the podcast where we rewatch the films we loved when we were younger to see if they still hold up. I'm Dan. I'm Michael. And I'm Helena. And for this episode, we have a very special guest joining us. It's Matt. Hi, and I brought the films of Scooby-Doo, specifically The Witch's Ghost. Is that the actual, is it, is it that one or is it, it the different? Yeah, yeah, they had the actual one in there. Uh, it wasn't like it wasn't like the classic version of it. Somebody was doing a cover of it. Uh. Oh, of course, yeah, but not the simple plan cover that came. But along, not like. the not the uh, what's new Scooby Doo that the, simple the plan one. wrote and recorded the best one. The best Scooby Doo theme. The best song, maybe ever of all time. Yeah, <laughs> ever written. So I had never seen this. Uh, <laughs> Of course fucking not. Like, no. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance I saw this. Absolutely oh, yeah. do not remember anything. I, I think just whether never you anything about it. saw this depends on... Because I, I genuinely have no sort of real idea of how old any of you are. You might all be... Guess. Terrible Zoomers and be too young to have watched this as children. <laughs> no, I'm not a terrible Zoomer. Yeah, how old do you think we are? Um, I think... I mean? Wait, how old are you? <laughs> to start with, how old are you? You can tell someone doesn't listen to our Patreon. <laughs> we did a quiz based on this exact thing. <laughs> uh, I am, pause for counting, 32. <laughs> okay. Eh, not far off. My assumption weird? is that um, Mike is the oldest and that Dan is the youngest. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my that would be my guess because because you've got an air of authority and maturity, Mike. That you know impetuous you don't to the Daniel much, do you? <laughs> doesn't have. Yeah, no. Um, sadly, I am thirty and the oldest of the group. Ah, <laughs> you've just got that youthful fishy skin. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's from how wet he gets at work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dampy as constant moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would guess that probably none of you are younger than twenty-five. That's yeah. a very diplomatic way of putting it. Yes, I'm, I'm twenty-seven. <laughs> I'm twenty-eight. Mm-hmm. And Dan's old. Yeah. <laughs> old. Dan's but yeah, so the I, I, I feel like 1996. Like I'd have only been. Th- Three when this came out on. I think this was ninety nine, wasn't it? I would have been, uh, I would have been five when it came out on DVD. It did take us a long time to get a DVD player, though. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah we had a VHS player, wasn't it? Yeah, two thousand one. This came out on DVD, and I think I don't know whether we would have had a DVD player by then. Do you think you caught it on like Cartoon Network or something? Well, I know exactly where I caught it because we. Um, as you know, you know I've, I'm sure that I've told this story many times in the times I've been on the podcast, but we only had about four VHSs and no TV license growing up, so the only time I ever built Scooby-Doo was um, at a family friend's house that we used to go and stay with who lived in Surrey. There was a bit of a trek mm-hmm. away, so we used to go a couple of, couple of you know, times a year. We'd go up and we'd stay with them for a week, and they had Boomerang on Sky. <gasps> nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> and so I would park myself in front of the TV and just watch Scooby Doo for, you know, 72 hours straight. <laughs> the only way to watch Scooby Doo. Yeah. Is to drive literally for the only hours. way I could have watched Scooby Doo was to do that. <laughs> um, and that's, yeah, that's how I watched The Witch's Ghost. I must admit, this film did make me really appreciate those short, snappy Scooby Doo episodes. I mean, in a way, but also I feel like um, still better than the last extended Scooby-Doo yes. episode. Yes, so we might as well broach the topic of our sort of scarring of the last spooky Scooby-Doo we watched, which is also the last Scooby-Doo we watched. Oh, yeah. It was. Uh, which was Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers. I've never seen it. Don't. Yeah, no, it's not worth it. It's, it's not good. It's bad. 
Um, Who brought Scooby Doo and the Boo Brothers? Isn't that from like the seventies? Yes. yes, that sounds old, like a really yeah. like shitty old one. Yeah, yeah, it, it was. Is. Shaggy inherited some Confederate gold. <laughs> yeah, we, we did learn. We did learn that is how uh, they fund everything. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Shaggy has everything. generational wealth. We know yeah, this is true. Money. He has slave money. But the yeah, well, and Fred has a number bank account in switzerland full of gold that's been suspiciously (laughs) filed down you know we just don't talk about it yeah i mean where in most episodes of scooby-doo it kind of you know sets things up and it pays it off in an adequate way the boo brothers um set everything up and then when actually no it's this oh it was nothing interesting the boo brothers was a tv episode that they extended yeah um with filler and it was mostly filler (laughs) Ah, uh-huh. and who who uh, inflicted Scooby Doo and the Boo Brothers on you? Uh, just... Have you guessed that none of us had it as a treasured childhood memory? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it was Jackson Bailey. He has not been ah, on the show since. <laughs> to be fair, he did immediately apologise. Yeah, he was yeah. very sorry. We we you did the standard thing is where you come on this show with a beloved childhood film and we ruin it for you. Uh, we ruined. I mean, at it least we've them. now had a few, like uh, another generation of uh, of Scooby Doo with um, the Witch's yeah. Ghost. This one, and at least the whole cast is in the film. Yeah, the whole cast is in, yeah. it, and there's extra characters as well. Like Great. there's the Hex Girls who are a band, mm-hmm. and there's yeah. the suspicious guy that looks like Matt, um, who turns out to <laughs> be the bad guy. Who was he voiced by? He was voiced by someone interesting. Tim Curry. Tim Curry. It was Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. I remember yeah. watching like, the first half of the film going, why do I know that voice? And I'm just watching it like, that guy is sus from the get-go, and then it wraps yeah, up. Yeah, of course, he's, he's played by Tim Curry. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh, it's fine. Incredibly suspicious. And then, <laughs> yeah, and there's just an extra 20 minutes, and I'm like, oh Please? no, oh, I was right. This film starts twice and end tw- ends twice. It's <laughs> yeah. great. Because... No, it ends three times, because it ends at the beginning. So the film starts from... I'm just getting flashbacks. The film starts with them solving a crime. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they but that, I mean that's though. that is that's a classic Scooby Doo setup, I mean, no, right? That's standard. That's how Scooby Doo two thousand and one, the live action movie starts. That's true. That is true. That is. That's standard. how a lot of Scooby Doo movies start is with Be them good. solving a crime. Yeah, <laughs> solving a crime. It's not a crime. It's a mis- <laughs> I mean, is this it a crime? Is. is what they're doing solving crimes? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Is it illegal to scare would... someone? <laughs> well, it is I to mean, do but it's, it's for normally illegal reasons. Manipulation and what kind of yeah, normally it's to right? scare someone so that they don't. If I buy if the I land I, what kind of if I sneak up on you wearing a costume, world? Mike, and I <laughs> yell boo and you scream and then I laugh and run away, I don't think that's a crime. If <laughs> I sneak up on you, yell boo, you scream, drop your wallet, I pick up your wallet and run away. <laughs> then that becomes a crime, right? And I feel the like the second is, one you dress is what Scooby Doo villains death, are doing. If you dress up as death and scream at people in a nursing home through the windows so that the nursing home clo- cl- uh, closes down, yes, and you exactly. Can then yeah. Build if I screamed through the it. window of your house every night until you left your house so that I could get your house, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, freedom of speech is dying. <laughs> You're just saying the woke left. <laughs> Woke left <laughs> trying to stop me. Are coming dress- for our are coming for our freedoms to wear a big Draclia suit. <laughs> it's because I want to own some land. Oh, I can't believe these- I'm not allowed to dress up as a mummy anymore. Puppy sanctuary. <laughs> oh, because it's cultural appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden wants to take away your electric ghost outfits. <laughs> It's nothing but wokery. <laughs> we need to stop the wokery from infiltrating the scare industry. Yeah, I thought I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you woke mob. <laughs> for you snowflakes. We, we all know yeah. that Fred is the perfect <laughs> man. You woke. The perfect male specimen. Yeah, Fred, Fred is the Aryan ideal of manhood. <laughs> You woke leftists with your immigrants and gays. <laughs> Coming in here, stealing all of our scary outfits. Yeah. Coming so in it here wasn't for illegally. you meddling beta cucks. 
<laughs> and your dumb oh. puppy boys. What was it that Jordan Peters? Oh, what was it? It was your woke. Who's laughing now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woke cucks. Up Cuck. yours, woke moralists. That's it. <laughs> Except with more of a Kermit the Frog twang. <laughs> yes. So, Jordan yeah. B. Peterson here. <laughs> <laughs> up yours, so, so how, much, how much of the plot? Yay! <laughs> None. We don't want to get to nah. any of it. <laughs> yeah, you. This. This. You can this tell that it. I literally got in from work and immediately opened the laptop, to start recording. This is Got it. weird vibes today. This is it. <laughs> so, Ugh. how much of the film plot did you actually remember? And how often did you watch this? So, was it just on? Is it just one that you stuck in your mind from one of those trips? Was it a Halloween? When you watch yeah, it, yeah, I mean, or... it was it's one it's it's one that was on quite a lot, you know, on the repeats because it's one of the more beloved ones, I think, along with Zombie Island and what's the one where they go into like a into into a video game? I the, hate to break the, it to you, but you would be the one to know <laughs> the Cyber Ghost. <laughs> The only one that point I is there was, was a bunch Zombie of Island. there was a bunch of director video <laughs> it's just movies Tron. that came out around then. It's basically Tron, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's one but of the, with... the little light bikes is just Scooby Doo instead. Yeah, exactly, and they ride Scooby Doo around. <laughs> yeah, and Jeff Bridges is there. And Jeff Bridges is there for some reason. Yeah, yeah. a lot of Daft Punk music. It's a real <laughs> the Daft Punk <laughs> Scooby Doo remix was is ahead of its time. <laughs> it's, it's really weird they agreed to do it. Scooby Doo and the Alien Adventures. Alien Invaders. That's one I've seen uh, quite a lot as well. That one is uh, Shaggy falls in love with a uh, hippie who turns out to be an alien. I like watched that. The live action movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, she gets turned into a death claw. No, she gets <laughs> turned know. into a yeah. She gets turned into a demon and then marries Sacha Baron Cohen. Weird. Trajectory for her old Isla Fisher. <laughs> yeah. But good luck to her. So, so they saved. Yeah, they capture the guy. They meet weird author man. Yeah, yeah so, but well, they don't capture the guy, do they? There. He captures no, he the trips guy. Them over. He trips over the bad guy and he captures the guy. And then he's like, hey, I know all about you guys, which isn't suspicious at all. You should come to my village that I own. What? And Velma's a big fan because he's, he's yeah. A I'm a he's thinly veiled Stephen King allegory, and Velma is head over heels. Head over. It's it's nice that in most Scooby Doo films, Velma falls in love with someone. With somebody, <laughs> uh, yeah. Who yeah. turns out to be the bad person? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's either Velma, and she makes a fool of herself, or it's Fred, and Daphne's really like fuming about yeah. it, you know. And in this one, it's both. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because there's also um, yeah, the, the town's having a affair. There's the hex girls. There's right? also the hex girls, who are the best, and have a yeah, excellent song. Yeah, that was definitely song. the highlight of the film for me. Yeah, the when they introduce that, when they like work out who the hex girls are, and is it Fred that goes, oh, and they've got the hex girls playing, and they're like, how do you know that? And he's like, there's a sign. <laughs> Love yeah. that. Joke. <laughs> I don't know if it was meant to be a joke, but it was really funny. Uh, but yeah, they, yeah uh, they for get... some reason Scooby and Shaggy just eat a restaurant out of all of its food. Yeah, well, that's you know they always do that at some point. But again, it feels like they kind of like break a man's spirit as well because yeah. they walk into that place and the guy behind the camera is like, "Wow, I love these guys. I love that how much they love to eat." And then it cuts back five minutes later and he's not smiling anymore and he's like, "I've got to go make some calls." And I feel like that, you know, that man has gone home and just really rethought his whole life. Yeah. Well, it was it's because so the writer guy comes back to town and he's like he explains that his family's always lived there and the town has rediscovered the ghost of his like one of his ancestors. Yes, who that's right. A, who a and wicker. he's ve yeah, he's incredibly obsessed with sort of clearing her name. And she it, has I think the spooky it's spooky name of Sarah. Yes, the spookiest <laughs> yeah. name. Um, and I think what the, the, one of the weird things about this movie is how much of a thing they make of like, oh, she wasn't an evil, she wasn't a witch, she was a Wiccan. Not because witches aren't real; they are, and they're evil. 
Yeah, the the yeah. witches are the evil. <laughs> but she wasn't one. Some of the some of the people that were burned in the Salem witch trials were evil witches, but Sarah wasn't one of them. And we're going to find this book definitely to prove that because she was a nice Wiccan, not one of the evil real witches that existed. But also, Wiccans are real. We'll get to the fucking end bit because it's it's wild. <laughs> um, later the. So yeah, he he wants to find like her notebook because she was a healer and she wrote down everyone that she healed. She wrote down the name of everyone that she healed under the oak tree, and it's like so that's his thing. But he that's tells his Jack, driving. Uh, yeah. That's his MacGuffin that he needs to find. That's why he's there, and he's fuck. He he will not shut up about it. God, he's so annoying. Every so time annoying. he enters the scene, he's like a book. The, did you find the like, book? Fuck off, Tim Curry. He's so irritating, and it's amazing how they made a character both so suspicious, but also <laughs> I don't want him to be in the show. I just shut up. <laughs> no, shut up. He's too suspicious that you're like, it can't be him. Well, I don't <laughs> care not... if it's him. I just want him to stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> He's so... I don't care that you've got Tim Curry for an hour. <laughs> fuck yeah. off. <laughs> like, oh, just stop talking about the goddamn book and telling us about the rules of Wicca and witchcraft because they have to cram the rules in to like the first half of the film of like how witches and Wiccans interact with each other because it's important for the ending. <laughs> so they tell you like ten times which Wiccans are like nature magic. They use the word natural world and witches are evil. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no the, more. You know, there's no more the sort of than that. Children, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and and then at some point we find out that like um, one of the hex girls is like one sixteenth Wiccan, making Wic- Wiccan a race, but which <laughs> not as far as or, or maybe witches are. It's very conf- the law is confusing at best. I think. I think it tells you that i think it trying to i don't think it worked out that much i think they just went these are witches these are wiccans and i think that what it's saying is witches are just evil wiccans like mm. they're the same thing it's just one of them does magic for bad right it I, I, yeah, I well i yeah i think it's like witches are the scary thing that you see in like in horror movies and wiccans are just humble serve yeah. it like Pit women doing good to like keep, nature yeah. servant, yeah, and like healing and putting you know, sure to love the earth is our to... one desire, as the hex girls sang at the end of the film. Ah, <laughs> uh, I absolutely loved all of the eco girls, all of the hex girls, eco goth nonsense. Yeah. Oh, it was great, great, yeah, and the songs absolutely slap. It yeah. was great just to have perfect oh, secondary you're, you're characters about 20 minutes in. Here you go, have a song. <laughs> Uh, cause... Oh yeah, because when they're when they're first actually introduced, it's after they've been chased by the witch's ghost for the first time. Yes, yeah, which and... they're like walking down the street, uh, shagging to yeah. after eating that guy out of house and home. And yeah, yeah. So they they are bankrupting. I feel like if to, if you drew to, if you drew characters like in that as they were portrayed in that scene, you know. If you took a freeze frame of that, you could sell it to certain communities for quite a lot of money. Mm. 100%. <laughs> People have redrawn yeah. that forever. Um, but they also bankrupted the writer because he was paying for all their food. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. He... So they, they, that right. But again, he's a Stephen King allegory and he owns like a big manor house. I think really? it's fine. Although they may have actually put a dent in his wallet. Yeah, yeah well, it, I guess it depends how much uh, What's-His-Face was charging for the meals. True. That's true. And you got to leave a 10% tip, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't feel like Shaggy and Scooby are tippers, do you? <laughs> no. I don't think I they tip. I feel like Scooby wants to, but doesn't understand the concept of money. Yep. Oh, yeah. And I don't think... I think Shaggy would just smile and nod and walk away. So I think Shaggy's yeah, Sh- the sort Shaggy of guy... never has any money. No, no, but he'll just, like, leave, you know, his family business card on the table or something, and... Yeah. They call the number and someone will sort it out, you know? Hmm. Yeah. They go, um, actually, we want nothing to do with your money. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, because uh, like, so after they've been chased, they like investigate it and they're like, oh, there were fireballs and the trees are cut in a perfectly straight yes, line. Yes, but w- 
And then they're like, oh, there's some scary, mysterious lights over there, and it's the band playing. Yeah, in the yeah but before that, that, don't forget <laughs> that there's a point where Shaggy and Scooby see the silhouette of some women, and they're like, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Women? <laughs> all women? And they kind of just, like, push all of the food from their stomach up to their lungs. So it looks yeah, like they've got, like got big barrel chests. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> well, the, the women appear and they're spooky looking and they get immediately terrified. Yep. Because they've got teeth. They've got vampire teeth. they got vampire they're, they're teeth. They're there to perform for this festival. Yes, exactly. Yeah. They're a local band. And then, yeah, they go and they find the lights and it's the band rehearsing and that's not how rehearsals work. You mean uh, you don't do a full light? And sound like light rehearsal with your sound. You do check. not in the middle of the night, though. <laughs> you don't tend to yeah. do it. You might if you were an eco goth. <laughs> but you don't tend to do it like. I do it in the daytime when the solar power is running. Eight to twelve hours before, though. <laughs> you don't tend to do it that early. Like that's a sa- that sound guy's got to get up really early. Also, there's no sound light or effects guy. No one else is saw. there. How, they're probably they... just hiding around the back because they're antisocial. That's true. How are they doing the light One show? of them spilled barbecue sauce down their Rolling Stones t-shirt and the other one's <laughs> furiously trying to wipe it off with a towel. <laughs> they're like, we can't go out there, man, there's girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. And then Fred... Yeah, lighting people don't exist to kids. No, that's true. Be, yeah. The stage is just magic. They don't, yeah. yeah, that's true. That's the real magic. Uh, that's all the Wicca. That's what you get for being a Wiccan. You get. Oh, to maybe she does do magic. it. Maybe that is her magic. Yeah. Maybe it is. Maybe she's just got party magic. Uh, Eco goth magic. <laughs> yeah. Level one sorcerer. Yeah. So anyway, they yeah. So they meet. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Fred's like, these women, these women that I'm attracted to are very suspicious. I should follow them. Yeah. And Daphne. <laughs> because they're su- because they're suspicious. <laughs> Well, they say um, pretty strange things. As I they do say, I remember pre- yeah. them sounding pretty sus. They were very suspicious, yes. And then you find out what they're actually doing, and you're like, no human being would have talked about what you were doing in the terms that you talked about it. Yes, they and would. And they also say they they like leave each other, and she's like off to do this. The she's ritual. Like, do you want to come with me to this ritual? The and they're like, like you nah. got to do the ritual. And they're like, no, we're tired. Fuck off. And then they like, both go, night. they shake their do jazz hands at each other and go, bad dreams. Bad yeah. dreams. That's it. I, I love all that shit. I'm just so on board with any, any goth shit. That's how I want to finish every greeting. Every, every I think that's how you should finish the podcast from off. now on. Yeah. Your new podcast sign off should be bad dreams, listeners. Bad dreams. <laughs> yeah. You say. You say nobody talks like that. They are goth teenagers. If anyone in this world talks like that, it's goth <laughs> teenagers. Did you have in a goth phase, band. Matt? No, I, I did not. I had a dweebus phase, which lasted from oh. uh, primary school up until little now. <laughs> it's the just over. Phase. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a, uh, there's a picture uh, at about the age where I probably would have had a goth phase, um, and I'm walking our dog in the woods, and I'm wearing like khaki cargo pants, um, a brown t shirt, a grey wool formal overcoat, and like a Ooh, big okay, wide brim fedora. Yeah, you've got to post this picture in the Discord when this episode comes out. <laughs> I hope you know. <laughs> <laughs> just the oh, biggest we post the, we'll post the picture that's like oh we we recorded with Matt this week and it's that picture <laughs> yeah like, I look back at pictures of myself and I go yeah I'd have bullied me yeah. <laughs> you're like yeah I deserved it I deserved yeah. that yeah so it's Scooby Doo <laughs> so Scooby Doo so they anyway they split up right and oh yeah Sc- um, Shaggy and Scooby have to follow the mayor Yes, he because runs. he's there for some reason. Well, he's really big on... He wants to make this, like... Um, he's really trying to cash in on the spooky aspect of the village. Yes. yes. Yeah, he's really so cashing he's... in on Sarah Ravencroft, uh, the, the, the Wiccan slash witch. Um, and anyway, so, you know, shenanigans occur, right? 
and Fully. they kind of yeah. track the mare down, but then the witch appears again and throws fireballs at them, and then they do, like, a plan to catch the witch. Yeah, which essentially yeah. involves... Uh, bait. Well, it involves what involves it always bait. involves, right? Shaggy and Scooby run away a lot, and then they catch her in a big net. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was literally a big net, wasn't it? Yeah, it's always yeah. a big net. Then... I swear that must be like sixty percent of the storage in the mystery machine. It's just, it's just big a, nets, a big just devoted yeah. to nets. <laughs> the one big net they have. <laughs> you don't think they reuse the nets? Then you think? Yeah. They it's like you spend the it same time as single the use after nets. of them folding it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, folding up a big net would be the worst. Mm. Oh, it would be so annoying. Get so tangled immediately. I guess in the when they're not solving mysteries as well, they get on the mystery machine boat and just trawl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's how they make look. Shaggy's how... <laughs> slave money isn't as good as it used to be. <laughs> they're yeah, also yeah selling sardines yeah on the side um it's, for it's... some reason mystery fish isn't taking off people <laughs> don't want to buy it it would surely be fishery ink <laughs> also no one would buy that either no no really branding that only works at hunting ghosts <laughs> it really is they fuck themselves there yeah. for corporate growth yeah they can't branch out they can't franchise. No, exactly. But speaking of branching out, <gasps> that's what the bloody ghost was doing. They were chopping all the branches off with a big yeah. crane. As it turns out, it it was the mayor all along. Shocking. And also, the and also the, the whole rest of the town. Girls, um, dad. <laughs> Yeah, and, and everyone literally else. everybody else in the whole town was in on it. They were like, "Fuck, our town's dying. We need a gimmick." For this festival, uh, let's do a witch's ghost. We're not hurting anybody. We're not doing a crime. Surely no group of privileged teens will come along and ruin our one chance of saving our town. <laughs> but guess what? They didn't count on the Mystery Inc. gang. Being brought here by suspicious author men. <laughs> being brought there by the historic owner of the land. It really is like capitalism killed this town, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then they had a go. They tried to save it, and then the ruling class came in again in the form of Mystery <laughs> Inc. Again, but nothing and beat anyone them in down. the town was doing was illegal. Apart from maybe no, nothing they, they were doing. Well, they did <laughs> no, try to kill funny. Shaggy and Scooby. The actually, is a bit, a bit difficult. <laughs> I was going to say maybe there was a protection order on those trees. I mean, like maybe, now. maybe. What if there was a drought? They could. Oh wait, but it would be the fire. it would be the mayor that decides yeah. which trees are protected. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, the mayor. So I basically, so they were doing nothing fire wrong, bombs. and apart mystery from the fire bombs <laughs> vandalized fire their bombs. celebrations. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, false at the advertising of... maybe might be able to get them on I false guess. advertising, uh, but that's not really. But a I guess I don't know. Thing. I don't know if you go if you hear about a real life witch haunting that's definitely real, and that's your reason to go for going to a village. Then you kind of deserve to be yeah. falsely advertised too. <laughs> yeah. A lot of if that's false advertising, then a lot of places are false advertising and it, not even bothering to get a fake witch. It'd you be know, a difficult <laughs> court case to win is all I'm saying. <laughs> but not impossible. Well, of course it would, because Shaggy's got generational wealth. He's going to afford true. the lawyers. Yeah, oh yeah, he can lawyer them into the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'll tie true. this case down for months, man. It's not worth it. That's my Shaggy impression. Has anyone got a better one? Nope. No. <laughs> Cowards, the lot of you. <laughs> Correct. Oh gosh, Scoobs! Like, like, let's go. That's better, oh, I think. Fred Jones. <laughs> I have no soul. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Nope. That got a bit. <laughs> <laughs> <And> dude, <gasps> Jinkies! I am a mysterious author. <laughs> Did, so, the mysterious, mysterious author... <laughs> the mysterious <laughs> author chastises the town, says you're a bad town, um... Because you're trying and to hurt my family name. You're, because you're trying to... Yeah, you're you're using my relative who's been dead for many many years to try and Smirching. put food on your children's table, 
And that's wrong of you to do. Because I'm famous and rich, and you're not. And I know as both. And he's also definitely cashed in on it. Yeah. Yes, and I'm also definitely not I evil. Both. And a landowner and a millionaire, I refuse to help my hometown out in any way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get he says all property. of that directly to camera. <laughs> <laughs> and they but say, where's so There's just a subtitle banner underneath that just says, eat the rich. <laughs> yes. And then they all say, where's so sorry? Messaging. We're so sorry, Tim Curry. You're right. We have done you wrong. And then Velma's like, hang on a second. The first end of... That's where the show, the film ends the first time. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) All the town are going to jail and capitalism wins again. But wait, there's more. Because Tim Curry hasn't found his fucking book yet and still won't (laughs) shut up about it. And it turns out Scooby-Doo accidentally found where it was earlier. Yeah, Scooby-Doo fucking <laughs> he finds a, he finds his a, way. It looks like a buckle, but it's the clasp of the book. The yeah. clasp of the hat, is it, maybe? Or the book? Yeah, no, it's I don't the, know. Yeah, it's the, the book. book yeah. It's because it's one of those old school like diary ones where you can... like. That's right, the leather yes. In. Yeah, they think it's like a shoe. But, but suspiciously enough, this um, the witch who always did shit by the oak tree, you'll never guess where she was fucking buried. Well, she was it by... But by not oak. by... But specifically was not by the tree. one not by the one oak tree that he'd been looking under. He was like, Well I've looked under this one oak tree. No point in I looking mean, under any not others. Be under this stump of an old oak tree that's no longer here. Yeah, and so he digs up the book, but shock twist everybody. Tim Curry's playing the bad guy. <gasps> oh, no. And it turns out she actually was an evil witch. And he's Almost like, Yeah, actually. Girl. Uh, and now I am also an evil witch, me, Tim Curry. And now I'm going to summon the real witch's ghost and you're all in fucking trouble. Yeah. yeah. Um, she's on my side. And she's yeah, my and family she's, and family sticks yes, together. Exactly. And but the, definitely the amount of betrayal that I've done is in no way indicative of a family trait for betrayal, which will come back to bite me on the arse in about four <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel like we're not hitting home enough uh, at this point in this film, in Scooby-Doo, show where it's always a guy in a mask, and that's a point they make, that it's always a guy in the mask, and the guy in the mask well, is always capital. I mean, There's always different like r- rules for the films. It's different Magic rules for is the real films. now. <laughs> magic is... like Every single feature film they do, at some point, magic is real. And then everything else they make, they go, absolutely not. There's no such a thing as magic. Like, Fred, we saw a ghost witch get killed. Yeah, ghosts aren't real. It's just some guys with a truck. Oh, shit. An actual ghost. She set everything on fire. The scary pumpkins. It's just God, magic. the scary pumpkins are so good, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it becomes, like, pretty full-on for a Scooby-Doo episode of uh, yeah, destroying man. and rotting shit. <laughs> yeah, it's the rotting yeah. shit that's quite cool. Mm. Yeah. And the tree comes to life. She's like a death on the world that entrapped me. Yeah, she comes yeah. back a little bit bitter. Oh, yeah, and she is not having any of Tim Curry's shit either. Yeah, he's like, I want to be as powerful as you, and she's like, fuck you too. I'm going to put you in a bubble. Get fucked, Tim Curry, <laughs> yeah. you piece of shit. <laughs> and then she tries to And then to she, goes on a, yeah, she goes on a ghost yeah, rampage, he's, but... He's like, Sarah, we were supposed to rule together. And she's like, shut up, cuck. Yeah, she's <laughs> well, like, no, why no, the fuck like, would I want to Why would I want to rule you? It. <laughs> He first he has to set up to the force. <laughs> <laughs> No, first he has to set up how they're going to Deus Ex Wiccan their way out of this, right? He's he goes, I brought you back and I can put you I can put you away again. I'll put you right back in this book, you terrible lady. And yeah, he like starts B-Hate. reading the Yeah. He starts reading the incantation to put her back in the book. And she's like, you idiot, you absolute, you You piece of shit, Tim Curry. (laughs) Only a pure soul, only a Wiccan can read that incantation, you cuck, you bellend. So was he adopted? Does he not have Wiccan in him then? Well, no, no, because he's a witch. He's part of the witch race, which are evil, not part of the Wiccan race, which are good. Which is, again, exactly. that's why I think either that or he's just too evil to say it. And he, you've got to be good, a good Wiccan to say it. Not a bad one like he is. Well, I think if you, again, if you're it's evil, unclear. you're inherently a witch. 
But if you're good, I mean, you're Wiccan? Yeah, but what I'm Maybe asking, is it like D&D, where evil and good are racial traits <laughs> for Wiccans and witches? Or... But he, I mean, she's his relative, the, right? Yeah. One of the yes. exiles is like actively a Wiccan, though. She's actually practicing yeah. Wiccan things, whereas he's just... An author. <laughs> no, no. One of the Wiccan. No, one of the hex girls is one sixteenth Wiccan. That's the. She says it. Yeah, she's like, I'm, she's I'm only one sixteenth. Like doing Wiccan shit, right? Yeah. Well, no, I don't. I'm not sure that she is. I don't think that bit matters. Yeah, that's that's her. Uh, what her um, not ceremony, whatever it was going to ritual. ritual is. is no, she's just doing. Like no, that's face wash or something. She's doing yeah, she's like doing... A, she's steaming her vocal cords. That's yeah. not Wiccan stuff. That's just singing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's Wiccan stuff. Yeah, I never left the emo face. Sorry. <laughs> I just feel like at that point they forget that he's supposed to be related to the witch. Yeah, but she's just no. Like I think no. I think he's too evil. Oh, yeah. okay. I think that's the point: is that either he's too evil, or they're too Wiccan and witches are two separate things. Yeah, I, I and that's I, why honestly, he can't. Honestly, my do memory it. of this is vague at best. <laughs> and so she, but, but she puts him in a green bubble, um, and she goes to try and kill everyone. But Velma's like, "Fuck!" If I remember the plot, and yeah. one of the hex <laughs> girls like, can I do remember it. Remember something that happened twenty minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> no one else does. That's Velma's superpower, as she remembers things that happened earlier in the episode. Well, I mean, Daphne does fuck all in this episode, so yeah. That's true. Yeah, she, she like, Fred gets a bit sidelined, and Daphne gets very sidelined. Look, I'm just glad they were there, okay? I missed them yeah. in Scooby-Doo meets the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, definitely. Um, and so, yeah, and so what happens is they, you know, they shenanigans occur, right? The witch is doing stuff, they're doing stuff, everybody's running around and screaming a lot, and then eventually they get the book to hex um, the Hex Girl. Yeah, in a sequence which I think was copied, or at the very least homaged, in Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. I don't know if any of you are familiar. Yeah. Yeah, we, we did that episode, like, yeah, two years so ago, but we did it. You remember oh, the I final didn't. sequence... You remember the final sequence in that where um, they've got the plate and they've got to plug it in to turn all the monsters back to costumes, yeah, yeah. but yeah. the sludge monster's there and they're throwing it from one to another. Yeah. And that's exactly what happens here. They all get yeah, caught up by various different vines and pumpkins and trees and stuff. Um, and then I, eventually they go to the right person. 41 films deep, they have reused a few bits of material. It's entirely possible, but you know, I like to think, I think that James Gunn's is got a very love nice for the way of putting for the for the source material redone, <laughs> and hope no one noticed. But Matt noticed. <laughs> I noticed. Um, so yeah, they do that, and they put her back in the book. But oh god, oh no, she's not going back alone. Tim Curry, you're going in the book as well. Yeah. And, the author and then they it. burn the book. Velma burns the book and kills yeah. two people. Velma <laughs> murders yeah. in cold blood because yeah. they weren't Mystery. a threat anymore. Mystery well, meets like, Judge Dredd. Um, she does say, oh, it's sad no one will read his last book and then burns it. Yeah. Velma murders in cold blood two people. They might have been evil, but they weren't a threat anymore. They've been contained, <laughs> and she decides that they need to die for their crimes. Yeah. yeah what if they got out again? They'd have caused more issues. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Velma's doing what Batman doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Mystery Inc. only deal in people dressed as monsters. When it comes to actual monsters, they don't pull no punches. <laughs> No. Yeah, no, they're not going to set no fire shit. to a guy in a suit. <laughs> no, the, that's why the police step in to stop them. Yeah, <laughs> they're always about to. Like, whenever someone says, I'd have gotten away with it, if it weren't for you meddling kids, Fred's yeah. lighting a match. Yeah, yeah. He's like, gone. No. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're just going to midsummer the uh, yeah. people they capture. Just yeah. burn them alive in their suits, yeah. Spoilers yeah, and then it all... <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers for midsummer, Scooby-Doo's in it. Midsummer, but a Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, I would love Scooby <laughs> Mystery and go to Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scooby Doo played by Florence Pugh. Scooby, Scooby Doo in the North. Flooby Dooby Pugh, is that anything? <laughs> <laughs> then just like, this pie's got period blood in it. Oh well. 
<laughs> Still gonna eat it with the Scooby snacks. It's fine. Yeah, what <laughs> Would a, you it's jump a new mystery for it's a, a clue. Scooby snack. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> for two Scooby snacks. This... Fred's just lying there with mangled legs. <laughs> <laughs> this bear's yeah. just a person I in found the a clue. <laughs> Fred's been blood eagled. It's a whole thing. <laughs> So yeah, that happens, and then Daphne's they all do fine. a big. Daphne's fine at the. <laughs> Daphne's yeah. fine. Daphne's the new. Uh, yeah, leader. she's smiling. Daphne's the flowers. new May Queen. Yeah. yeah, exactly. What you also have is the beginning sequence where someone's attached a hose to the exhaust pipe of the mystery machine. Yeah. And put it into their house. That's scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. yeah! They take the mask off the. Um... She, uh, as she ends it, it she she watches the the shed burn, te- tears off the mask of the cult leader, and, and it's, it's scrappy. scrappy. Yeah. It's scrappy the whole time. I should have known it was. He was being played by Rowan Atkinson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck, so anyway, cult. that's the second yeah. spookier mystery solved, and it's time for a hex girls dance party to some eco friendly. New metal. Yeah. Hell yeah. Environmental Credits. Rock. Yeah. Love to see it. It's a banger. There it is. Yeah, what the music... I did really enjoy the music. Something really I thought the Hex Girls were absolutely fantastic. They're great. The They're just fantastic. was incredibly the... forgettable. Yeah. Which I think we've proven by taking... Oh, what? The best part of... 45 minutes. 45 minutes to describe it? No, we yeah. didn't start talking about Scooby-Doo until 15 minutes in. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, good point. We had to get through the Jordan Peterson impression. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get through Kermit B. Peterson, yeah. <laughs> Can't believe the woke left are trying to stop me from burning books with witches in. <laughs> <laughs> the wokery. <laughs> oh, the, the books woke? have got witches in them, yay! That's more Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. Hey, boy, no, Pluto, yeah. It's time to burn some books! <laughs> yeah, if anything. Joe Rogan told me to! So. So, so, <laughs> out of ten, this film. Now that they I was going to say, film. Matt, how did it survive? How did it live up? Did oh, you remember true. it I, as fondly? Yeah, I had a, I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was, I thought it was good fun. I thought um, a lot of the jokes landed better than they often do in Scooby Doo. I thought the animation was good. There were some nice set pieces in it. Uh, Tim Curry was a pain in the ass, but he was good. He was good and evil by the end, which I liked. Uh, I love the Hex Girls, of course. They're the best thing to come out of it. They and do come back as well. They're in other... Yeah, yeah. Films. They're an enduring yeah. character. Everybody loves the Hex Girls. Um, so, yeah, I think it's I think it's one of the better Scooby-Doo movies, and I, I think it holds up. I, it's definitely one of the better ones I've watched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of two. <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, very good in comparison. I, I must admit, I this is my... I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm saying anything particularly groundbreaking here. It's my favourite style of Scooby-Doo, where people have eyes and not just yeah. dots. I think in the 90s and the early 2000s, they'd really figured out how to do Scooby-Doo. It took them a while, and then they forgot again almost immediately. But there was a golden age of Scooby-Doo. Yeah, everyone has white, like the whites of their eyes. Yeah, and... everybody's drawn like people. Yeah. And there's still plenty of like background... like. They're still yeah, putting a bit of money into stuff. it. They're still taking their time. You know, they're not reusing animations like the early early ones are, and they're not quite trying to churn them out in about a week. You know, yeah, yeah it doesn't <laughs> in a have sweat shopping well, career the fun, like the, the later ones are. Of, the fun part of the Boo Brothers was watching. You'd know which thing on the screen was going to move because yes, because it like it's a the different color. The, it was the only thing that wasn't background. <laughs> yeah, but sort of roughly painted the same color as the background at that point. Yes, which again was they, it was bad because they were painting, they were put ani- putting animations over other important parts from the episode that they couldn't have anymore. So that was great. This film actually felt like it was made to be a film first. Yeah, yeah, which is always nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it feels like it's. I think because it has that sort of two two beginnings and two endings. This one doesn't drag because it feels like you kind of. You've got two Scooby Doo episodes mashed together, rather than one Scooby Doo episode drawn out for ninety minutes. And magic is real. And magic is real. But then ghosts were real in Scooby Doo and the Boo Brothers. So 
That's what I mean. Every time they do a feature length yeah. film, they say the supernatural is real. And then for all the other TV shows, they go, nope, <laughs> it's always a guy mm, in a suit. Except, I will say, in the movie that we're going to talk about next. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. Had a bit of sizzle. Spoilers. That's a little bit of sizzle. Tomorrow's bonus episode, where, which has the style that Helena hates, because I'm guessing they're trying to homage the older style. But we'll talk about that soon. We sure I will. I hate it. I just said that this is my preferred. Yeah, this is the best. That, no, that I hate is the Be Cool Scooby Doo animation. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like a Teen Titans Go kind of thing. It's not, yeah. Blech. Yeah, and everyone's kind of weirdly sexy, and I don't like it. Mm. Both sexy right. and childlike. It's a bad combination. Yeah. So out of 10? Uh, out of 10, I think I would give this seven dead eyed restaurateurs. Uh, leaving their shop forever <laughs> after Scooby and Shaggy have cleaned them out. He's got no mm. hope, no, nothing to do but to close for a week because the next delivery isn't coming in for a while. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd have to give this, um, yeah, probably six out of ten suspicious evil authors. I, I, I like, like you say, it was sort of meant to be like Stephen King, and it's like he was just the fact that he was there in the closed museum after dark in the first place was like. Yeah, no, this guy's sus. <laughs> that and all the cocaine. Yeah. That he kept doing in on on screen. <laughs> it was weird. Every other scene was him doing a line. Yeah, just freebasing crack. Yeah, and then he burnt Carrie because he was like, this isn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I would give this, yeah, five giant turkeys. That becomes the new town's. I thing. forgot about the giant turkey oh, yeah, that became the new town mascot. It, like, well, they, they yeah. try and stuff it, don't they? <laughs> well, how? No, and do you, but don't you? Do you remember at the very end when the mayor's like, "Oh God, we've got no. The town's been destroyed. We've got no witch anymore. You kids have literally ruined us. We're all going to starve now." And the hex girls are like, "Don't worry, Mister Mayor. We'll still perform." And he's like, no offence, girls, but you, I, we're going to need a bigger attraction than that. And they all turn around and then the turkey's still there and it's still huge. And they're like, <laughs> ha-ha. And I'm like, what a fucking, like, incredible diss. What an incredible burn on the hex girls <laughs> yeah. to be like, a giant yeah, turkey is, is better than, than you. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, People will be giant... more interested in the big turkey. The giant turkey is definitive proof that magic is real. There is that. It's not for anyone else apart from the town. It's just a proof that big turkeys are real. <laughs> I mean, you give it to a scientist, I'll be like, there's no explanation why this turkey's so big. Then they'll just say it's a genetic anomaly. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. It, it would be very hard to convince people. Turkey with giantism. Big turkey are just trying to take down the uh, other corporations. It's fucking wokery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big turkey villain for the next film as he yeah. tries to learn magic mean... to make other big turkey so he's not left out anymore. <laughs> he, he amazing Spider-Man's it. <laughs> Jamie Oliver would hate big turkey because of how many turkey twizzlers you could make out of it. <laughs> oh, so many. They uh, weren't banned in 1999. No, so... <laughs> no you can I... still get a turkey twizzler in with your school lunch. I God, Jamie Oliver's got a lot to answer for. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's... I can't remember what episode it is, but... Oh, like he just went on a massive rant about Jamie Oliver. In one of All my homies hate Jamie Oliver. <laughs> I hate yeah. Jamie Oliver so much. He's the only good cunt. thing he did was the school dinners thing. <laughs> just because As in it was it. good that he did it, or...? It was good that he did it. Have you looked at school dinners now? They're actually pretty great. <laughs> like, yeah, kids they are, are they're not bad. Properly. There's like, salad have you bars seen... and stuff. Have you seen the, my favourite Jamie Oliver video? I'm sure you've all seen it. Is the one where he's like talking to the kids and he's showing them the video of how they make chicken <laughs> yeah. nuggets. Oh, yes. <laughs> and at the beginning, he asked them, how, you know, would you rather have like a nice carrot stick or something or a chicken nugget? And they're all like, chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. And then he shows them the video and he's like, well, how about now? And they're all like, we still want chicken nuggets, you idiot, Jamie Oliver. Like, how many of you would eat a chicken nugget now? And they all put their hands up and he doesn't yeah. cry. And he looks, like, he looks like the saddest man alive. It's so <laughs> funny. Yeah, it's so good. He just looks so defeated. And I'm like, that's right. You piss off, Jamie Oliver. Uh, so, Mikey, how much chicken slurry would you give this out of 10? I eat turkey <laughs> slurry. Um, I think I'd give it 12, uh, five townspeople only committing a few crimes to save their town from the terrible economic uh, collapse. 
<laughs> uh, only a handful of crimes, including, I think, maybe conspiracy. Yeah, that is a crime, isn't it? Conspiracy to make big time. Mm. <laughs> May have... <laughs> They didn't plan on making five, good, five bars yeah. of no, Confederate gold quitch. out of ten. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's how many. Because I think yeah, they definitely committed a couple crimes, but not enough to do anything about them. Not like bad crimes. No, just like maybe starting a few fires. And just fun crimes like arson. Creating, yeah, creating explosives. <laughs> they did a little bit of domestic terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I guess with that, I've been Dan. <laughs> I, I've been Mike. What? I, I've been Helena. <laughs> uh, and I've been Mac. Check out my streams. <laughs> I'm Irish. You're streaming right now, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot That's how crazy. good an Irish accent you do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where can people find you apart from on Twitch at the Macaroni Prince? Uh, you can also find me. <laughs> Um, on my podcast What the Flick where we rewrite movies we haven't seen based only on the poster Uh, we've been on a bit of a hiatus but we are back with new episodes very very shortly Uh, we've both been moving house can you give us the name of a film? I can give you the name of many films but I assume you mean of one that we've yeah, covered on the podcast the low, far quite low with that one <laughs> <Just gonna laughs> yeah say. that's my that's my fault <laughs> Uh, well, so we covered uh, Jaws with with a uh, friend of the show, Dan Faulkner, who I believe is also on this podcast sometimes. Yeah, rarely. Like, yeah. uh, it's still my favourite episode. I'm not sure how I've not seen Jaws. I should watch it. <laughs> More recently, we did a run of Hammer Horrors, which I really enjoyed. Uh, Bride of Dracula, uh, Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon, and so on, uh, which I thought were really good fun. So yeah, check it out. If you've a mind I've- to... I remember as a kid being really confused about the film Jaws because I'd seen um, one of the old James Bond James Bonds, and, and I there's a Jaws that it was in a that. Spin-off. Yeah, it was the guy Jaws. It should be. Yeah. yeah, the man Jaws. Yeah, if you listen to our episode, we probably talk about the man called Jaws too. Actually, I think probably. in our episode it turns into a Scooby Doo mystery. It does. That's true. Yeah. yeah so there we go. Yeah. There's a bit of Scrippy Jaws. Yeah. Right. With Scrippy Jaws. There's a bit of, uh, of of synergy for you, if you like, so go and listen to that. <laughs> yeah, this is that. You can also find um, this podcast at, uh, on social media at Hilton Pod. That's at H-I-L-T-M Pod. Uh, we're on Discord as well, if you want to come and tell, tell us what like what's one of the old Scooby-Doo movies that you really enjoyed. Um, or don't, which hex don't, girl are you? <laughs> if, if it's the Boo Brothers one, don't comment. We don't want to yeah, know. Yeah, don't, don't know. Just <laughs> unsubscribe. Just go, go away yeah. and think about... Yeah. Go, go and are. watch it again. Yeah, because you and deserve to. You're wrong. And after being hostile to our listeners for a moment, we also have a Patreon where you can donate money. <laughs> not hostile to our yeah. listeners. That is you not the freaking... most hostile we've been. No, you little so. pay pigs. No, normally we're hostile to the guests. So um... take out your wallets. Yeah. Take out your wallets. <laughs> you fucking slimes. <laughs> <laughs> you, that sounded like get you were out. doing some sort of Findom kind of thing Yeah, yeah. Get out your little, Go on, get, it, get out your little PayPal Get out your little PayPal details Get a Patreon, right, you <laughs> filthy pigs And pledge five dollars to Hilton Pod You'd like really that, want, wouldn't you? I don't want money that way <laughs> This feels dirty. Feels Can weird. we give? I want to give the Patreon money to a charity. I'm gonna <laughs> much better Patreon. Oh, imagine doing Findom but donating it directly to a charity. <laughs> Findom but for good. Eth- um, ethical Findom. Yeah. Um, for making billionaires who want to give you their money, give it straight to a charity. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that'd be incredible. Um, no, I, I have a plan for Patreon, and sadly. Yeah, I'm getting much Patreon money re- recently, and there's only really one way we can handle this situation properly. And I think to get dirty. people to get people to come to our Patreon to get people to, to come by some giving some you money, of, <laughs> we have to create some sort of mystery. <laughs> so I recommend <laughs> there's a there's a ghost over there. <laughs> so go, we use the money to create a ghost on our Patreon. <laughs> Well, you know how on those like TV shows like Ghost Adventures, in the yeah. audio recording, they're like, if you listen closely, you can see the words we're telling you you can hear. Yeah. And the ghost is like, fuck off. Yeah. Um, well, if you listen to our bonus Patreon episodes, you can hear a ghost in the background and of some of them. You can only you hear to, it. You have to listen several times, though. Yeah. You can only yeah. hear it once you subscribe to the Patreon. Yeah, exactly. Once you subscribe you at the highest level for a year, you start to be able to hear the voices. 
Yeah. <laughs> the the ghost of the Jane, uh, Victorian child. The Victorian my, the child. Yeah, it's reminding I was me say, of the my, my I was building. There. Your building's the oldest, isn't it? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Although there there was one time when I was editing, and in the background of my keys recording, I could hear a kid laughing. Yeah. And I was like, I really hope you just had the window open or something. Yeah, normally. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. <laughs> My house is just well. Look, uh, if, if Mike has kidnapped a child, at least it's happy. Why would yeah. they be giggling? <laughs> is my only question there. Maybe they're time. mean and laughing at you. <laughs> I kidnapped a child and is bullying me. <laughs> I, I, I mean, out of everyone's house to be haunted, it is probably mine because it turns out the uh, the old wartime tunnels that run underneath this town go directly under my house. Uh, and I live in it, the basement. <laughs> why would a yeah. Victorian child be? Um, I don't know. I'll ask him. Please. I uh, yeah. If I'm if I'm haunted by anyone, the oldest they could be is from the sixties. Oh, you don't want to be haunted by someone from the sixties. No, awful. just casual misogyny ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in the kitchen. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you should really smile more. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Bad dreams, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Bad dreams. 